Hello world and welcome to this edition of Tech on Fire with Blaze. Today we're going to be looking at how to do external identities with Azure Active Directory and integrating that with an application that I've already created inside of the Azure Active Directory portal. Hi guys, today we're going to be building on what we did last week where we looked at how to integrate Azure Active Directory into a web app. And today we're going to build on that where we're going to add some external identities into our application. The external identities can come from a number of sources. The two that are out of the box configured inside of Azure Active Directory are Facebook and Google, but you can also use WS Fed. We're primarily going to be looking at Facebook today, but the same process would work for those other IDPs if you so choose to use those. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that Facebook identity provider and hook it up to Azure AD, and then we're going to configure our application to use that using a user flow inside of Azure Active Directory. So let's dive right in and do a review of what we did last week, and then let's go to the Azure portal, and then we will configure Facebook to work with our application. Okay, I'm here inside of my application inside of Visual Studio 2019. If you remember what we did last week is we went through and we added in the necessary things to add authentication into this. We added some use authentication here. We got some configuration out of a config file. We added the libraries and the configuration injection into those libraries for Azure Active Directory. And then we added some app settings here where we configured our Azure Active Directory to use a tenant ID, a client ID, and a callback URL. And then we added a decorator into our particular controller that we wanted to use to validate this, which was using the authorize annotation here that will allow us to authenticate for this particular method that we're going to be calling from our code. So we're going to take this and we're going to build on it. I've actually already published this up to an app service on Azure, and I did that for the purpose of integrating it more with Facebook. And then we are going to configure it basically to use the app service URL, and then we're going to put that into Facebook. I'm here inside my web applications authentication blade, and I've added the endpoint for my particular application's host name on app services with the sign in dash I OIDC right here. And then I've just put the logout URL to the root of that as well. So this application is now configured and I'm not going to go through uh, logging in at this point with it because that's really not what I want. I really just want to configure this application to use Facebook. So to do that, let's go back to our particular instance of Azure Active Directory here. And let's look at this external identities blade right here. And this is where we're going to do most of our work for configuring Facebook integration. So I'm here inside of the external identities blade on the Azure portal. I'm going to first select all identities here. Notice I have Google right here, and I also have SAML and WS Fed IDPs. SAML and WS Fed are two recognized standards for doing IDP integration with other types of sources. So this would be something like Azure Directory Federated Services. We're not going to look at that today, but we will do a video on different ways to use ADFS for authentication and authorization with Azure AD in future videos. Today, we're just focused on Facebook and you can do something very similar with Google and go through an application registration there on Google as well. But we're going to use Facebook for our app registration today. Now notice that I need right here a client ID and a client secret. To get this, I need to create an application on Facebook. So I'm gonna walk you through that process. And then once we have our client ID and our client secret, we can drop it in here. So to create an app with Facebook, the first thing we need to do is come over here to My Apps. If you haven't already logged in with Facebook, you will be prompted to log in and create a developer account. So that's pretty straightforward. If you have existing apps, of course, they'll show up here, but I don't currently have any since I've recently gone through and cleaned up a lot of the junk that I had in here. I'm going to create an app right here, and I'm going to going to select Manage Business Integration, which is fine. And I'm going to call this App AD Integration demo and i'm going to select other business and i don't have a business account if you do you can add that as well i'm going to create this app id this only takes just a second to create 
And once it's done, you will have the ability to modify the settings here inside of your app. So the first thing I need to come in here and do is set some basic settings here. And I'm going to basically populate some things for my app domain, which uh, I can add this here if I want to, it's not necessary, but I need to add in a privacy policy, which can be practically anything you want. Um, and you're not, you're not really checking this. You can basically choose any URL, google.com for demo, but for a production app, of course, you want to have these to be a more legitimate URL. I'm providing one that is for another site that I run that teaches people how to code. So let's come down here to the bottom then and it add platform and I'm going to click on website and then I'm going to provide the URL for the particular website that I'm going to be adding to this, which is going to be my Azure website that I have on app services. So fb.appdemo.azurewebsites.net. And that can be anything that you're using for your hosting. So once I have that, I'm going to select save changes. And now that I've got all that set up, I need to come over here to the products and add a product into this. And this is where I'm going to select the things I need for my particular logon. So I'm going to select in Facebook login. Again, you have a lot of things that you can add in here, but I'm mainly concerned about Facebook logon because that's what I'm going to be using inside of my application. I'm going to select web and the URL for my site is already populated. And that is where I'm going to click save. This other stuff down here is the integrations that you can do with the SDKs that are provided by Facebook. That's really not what we're using for this. We're not going to worry about that. So once you have this done, then you are good to go as far as the default settings. Um, and then we need to come over here to settings and populate some other things in here. So what I need to populate here is this valid OAuth URI redirects right here from the Azure portal. So this is the really the tenant ID. So to do this, I'm going to edit the URI right here inside of Notepad++. So it's going to look like this, where I have login.microsoft.com slash TE. I need my tenant ID and then OAuth auth re response right here. And that I can get from the Azure portal. So let's go back over here to my Azure Active Directory. And I'm going to copy my tenant ID and then come back over here to Notepad++ and drop that in here. Now you can't really edit this very well inside of the Facebook portal. That's why I'm doing it in Notepad++ because I'm gonna copy it right here, paste it in, and then it's going to not enable me to edit that very much. I can only delete it at that point. That's why I'm using Notepad++. And then I'm gonna save the changes here. So once I've got those changes saved, I can then go over here and click on in development and click this over to the kind of production app that I want to do. I'm just going to select something here, business and pages, switch mode, and this will put this into a production or a live state here. So now that I have that set up, I need to come and get my client ID and my secret. And to do that, I can come over here to settings and come to the basic tab again. And this is what I need to put inside of the Azure portal is this app ID and app secret. So to do that, let's come back down here to our external identities and let's register the external identities with our particular instance of Azure AD here under all identity providers. I currently don't have any, so let's go to Facebook and I need to populate the client ID and the client secret, which is the app ID for the client ID here. And the secret is right here and I'm going to copy that. So I'm going to delete this so you can't use my app secret. So you won't be able to hack it into my Azure AD or anything like that. So this won't be available before the video is published. I'm going to select save and that is going to add in this IDP here. So once I have that done, I need to create a user flow because just integrating the IDP doesn't finish the process. I need to actually create a user flow right here and then integrate the application using it a user flow. So let's go ahead and do that. Now let's create a user flow. Now under the user flow blade right here, I'm going to select new user flow and I'm just going to call it Facebook login. Let's say that's fine for this. It's going to ask me which 
providers I'm going to use. I'm going to use Facebook. If I had other ones like Google or SAML or WS Fed, those would show up here as well. And here I can get the claims that I'm interested in. These are called claims in IDP, but they're just really properties about the user. And I'm going to just get the given name or maybe the display name or something like that, or maybe the surname. And then once I have those selected, I'm going to click create for this particular user flow. And once the user flow is created, I need to come into the user flow and click applications to integrate it with my application. So I'm gonna click app, add application up here and I'm gonna select my web app that I've already registered and I'm gonna click select and that will add in that application that I've already integrated with Azure AD. This time I'm going to add it to my Facebook logon flow. So I should be able to log on with Facebook now that I have all of this set up. Okay, I'm here on my app service and I'm going to log in with this now. So I'm going to click on this tab, which is really just the host for it. I don't have anything at the root, so I'm getting a 404 error here. But if I go to an incognito window, I should be able to pull up an API here that is unauthenticated, which is what I expect. So API math add. And I'm going to change this to the API for the authorized header that I put in, or the authorized decorator that I put into my controller. And this one will require me to be authenticated to use this particular API. And so notice what it did is it kicked me over to the login page for Microsoft. So let's go ahead and sign in with this guy. I'm gonna click in sign in options here. I can put in my Microsoft accounts here and log in that way as I typically do. But if I come over to sign in options, notice Facebook is now lit up and I can log in with Facebook. So this is gonna kick me over to Facebook and I'm going to simply log in with my demo account here. And I'm gonna click log in here and it's gonna say, do I want to authorize this AD integration demo app that I created a few minutes ago whenever I was creating my integrations with Azure AD. So let's go ahead and continue as Blaze. I'm gonna authorize that. And now it kicked me back over to Microsoft's login page and I have to create an account here. And because my account on Facebook doesn't have an email address associated with it, I'm just going to use one that I already have, blaze.net. Um, at gmail.com. I'm going to use my Gmail account here and I'm going to send a verification code to that. And once I get that, I'll come back. I have the verification code, so I'm going to plug that in here. I'm going to click verify and it's going to ask me if I'm going to change my email address. I'm going to say no and I'm going to click continue. And it's going to then ask me for the properties that are read out of my Facebook profile. So this is my display name, blaze demo, blaze first name, surname demo. And those are going to be populated into Azure Active Directory. So that's what it's pulling over from Facebook. So I'm going to click continue and then it should complete my login. And I'm going to say, yes, I'm going to stay logged in here. And once I get this done, it should kick me back over to my uh, application that I have. And there it is. So now I have logged into this application using Facebook by way of Azure Active Directory. So I should be able to go back to Azure AD and see that new user created as well. So let's go ahead and minimize this and come back over here to all my users. I'm going to do a refresh on this page. And let's see, there's my new, uh, new my user right there. My new user, this is the one that pulled over from Facebook. And I can see where it came from. I can see the object ID, guest type source Facebook. You can see all the new kind of things that it plugged into my user profile for my Blaze demo user that I am now integrated with Facebook. And that's how you do it. It's fairly straightforward in Azure Active Directory for using these in the B2B context. There's another way to do this that we'll look at in the future using Azure B2C, and it's more of a consumer-oriented integration platform. This one is more for business-oriented integration platform that allows allows third parties to log in using Facebook profiles and things like that into my tenant if I want to do that. So we'll look at the other way of doing this in the future. But for now, this is a very easy way to integrate Facebook and external IDPs into your applications using the tools provided right in the Azure portal and creating an application on Facebook.
If you like this content, please consider visiting us online at www.wintelect.com and there you can find about services that Wintelect offers including training and consulting services. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to get notifications when new content becomes available and also comment down below. You can also follow me on Twitter at the one mule and also follow Wintelect on Twitter at Wintelect now or at Wintelect. We are constantly posting things about Azure related technologies and things related to software development. You can also reach us by email at consulting at Until next time, thank you.